We're having some fun in the kitchen today. So today it's a whole new experiment. Today we're making a reimagined tiramisu. All the goodness of a regular tiramisu in the form of a meringue pie. <gasps> Does that look amazing? So amazing, luscious, creamy, and delicious. Wanna see how we do it? Just keep watching. Oh, there's the drink we make today too. Yum. <laughs> For a written copy of this recipe and for a lot more fun stuff, check out our Facebook page at Poppy's Cucina. Yay! See you there! So the first thing you're gonna do in a saucepan, you're gonna add two cups of heavy cream along with one tablespoon, that's right, a tablespoon, you want that really nice rich vanilla, of vanilla extract. <laughs> Alright, so you're gonna bring this to a quick boil and then you're gonna um, immediately remove it from the heat. You definitely don't want to let this boil over, so you want to keep an eye on it. All right, so next, in a medium-sized bowl, you're gonna add five egg yolks, a third of a cup of cornstarch, along with one cup of granulated sugar. So now we're gonna whisk this all together until it's all fully incorporated. Try to keep the cornstarch in there. <laughs> and you can see it's very thick, so you're gonna have to like shake up that whisk every so often. <laughs> Just like that. And now would be a good time, if you haven't started already, to pre-bake your pie crust. You want to just do it in a regular pie pan, regular old pie crust, store-bought, make your own, whatever. <laughs> I don't think you want to see me do that, right? Yeah, so we'll pass that. We'll skip that step. All right, let's go check that cream. All right, so the cream came to a quick boil. So now we're going to allow this to cool for just a minute. Um, and so while we're waiting for that to cool, in a medium-sized bowl, you're going to add 16 ounces of room temperature Muscat Bone cheese along with one cup of powdered sugar. And to this, we're going to add half a cup, I'm sorry, a quarter cup <laughs> of coffee liqueur. If you don't want to use coffee liqueur, you could always just use um, strong brewed coffee like espresso. All right, so now we're going to mix this together until it's all nice and creamy. Just like that. So now, we are going to temper our egg mixture with the hot, so now warmish cream. All right, so you're going to add probably about half a cup at a time, and then quickly whisk it in. You can try to add it all at once, it may cook the eggs, and that's just not going to be pleasant. You don't want scrambled eggs in your pie. <laughs> all right, so we're going to continue to add the cream to the egg mixture. Just like that, and now this we're gonna pour this back into the saucepan, and then back to the stove we go. All right, so now we're gonna cook this over a medium to medium high heat for about five to seven minutes total. You wanna make sure you're whisking this constantly, because if you don't, the eggs are gonna stick to the bottom, you're gonna have cooked eggs, and again, you don't want you know scrambled eggs in your pie. <laughs> All right, so make sure you're whisking this constantly. After about the three, four minute mark, when this starts getting really warm, you can see it's gonna start thickening up. At that point, you know it's going to happen soon, and you're going to see that it really binds together and um, reduces in volume. It becomes really nice and thick. All right? But I'll show you what that's happening. And while you're waiting, maybe just click, you know, Lulu right there to subscribe. I would appreciate it. Thank you. All right, so this has been cooking for about four minutes. You'll see it starts to get nice and thick. And as soon as the bubbles start appearing more on the side, you can see it. it really thickens up quick. So we're going to want this pretty much on the th thick-ish side. Not too crazy thick, but we don't want it runny either. All right, so you're going to see it's starting to thicken up on you. See how thick it's getting? It's going to happen any second. Any second. And there it is. Look, see, look how fast that happened. All right, so at this point, you want to immediately remove this from the heat because it may burn on you. <laughs> so back to the counter we go. Nice. So creamy. So we remove this from the heat, but make sure you want to keep whisking this because the pan's still hot, so it's still cooking. <laughs> so you don't want to get stuck to the bottom. All right, so now we are going to add that beautiful mascot bunny cream that we made, remember? I'm going to pour that right in and mix this all together. And what do you see how beautiful this is going to become? Oh, it's so luscious, rich, and creamy. It's my spatula. <laughs> all right. All right. Mix this all in like that. And then watch. It's all going to get incorporated. 
Mmm, I smell the coffee liqueur. That is because the booze is probably being evaporated. Sad. <laughs> Alright, but see, look at it. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, so nice. So we're going to continue to mix this. Just like that. Look at it. It is so beautiful. It's like a really rich vanilla custard. Super creamy with a nice hint of the coffee liqueur at the ends. Mmm, so good. So now we're going to pour this right into our pre-baked pie crust. There we go. And we're going to allow this to cool in the fridge for at least an hour or so. You can see this is going to set nice, going to thicken up. It's not going to thicken up. Well, yeah, it'll thicken up a little bit. <laughs> and um, then it's going to be ready for the next step. All right, so we've allowed our... Um, cream to set for a couple hours. You can see it's nice and firm. All right, so now in a separate bowl, I have eight ounces of espresso. You don't have to use espresso if you don't want to. Just you really want to use a nice, strong brewed coffee. You can even make a decaf. This one actually is decaf, so why not? <laughs> and I added one tablespoon of rum. Okay, so now we take our package of our Savoyardi or Ladyfingers. We're going to soak them in the coffee mix and put it right on top of the custard. You don't need them completely saturated, but you want them pretty moist. All right, so we're gonna keep doing this. Just like that. And now we're ready to make the meringue. Can you see it already though? Isn't that exciting? This is huge. Oh, it's gonna be such a big pie. I can't wait. So in this medium sized bowl, I have the five egg whites that we reserved when we did the egg yolks for the custard. And to this I added half a cup of granulated sugar, two tablespoons of unsweetened cocoa powder, along with a quarter teaspoon of cream of tartar. All right, so now we're gonna whip this up with a hand mixer. You can use a stand mixer. I don't recommend doing this by hand because it'll take you forever. <laughs> All right, and you wanna whip this up until you have nice stiff peaks. Just like that. Oh, it tastes amazing. Think like a super light, creamy, chocolate mousse that's exactly what this is <gasps> so now we're gonna put this right on top of the lady fingers you want to get it right to the edge oh this is not already look glorious <laughs> i'm ready to eat how about you <laughs> all right so we're gonna keep topping this just like that and now into a preheated 400 degree oven it's gonna go just till you see the little tips start getting a little golden brown. Um, you don't want to brown the whole thing because you really want to enjoy this gorgeous color that is on this pie right now. Oh my gosh, look at it. And it's so thick and beautiful. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> All right, so into the oven, it's gonna go just for like five, 10 minutes. So we just took this out of the oven after about six minutes. Look at it, look at it. Oh my gosh, it almost looks like a giant cappuccino. Oh my gosh, I can't. <laughs> but we're gonna put this back in the fridge and allow this to cool for at least an hour before we serve it. All right, so we got some time to kill, so you know what that means. That's right, it's the perfect time for a cocktail time. Yay! All right, so for today's tiramisu teeny, <laughs> we're gonna start with one ounce of Kahlua. Let's do an ounce and a half. There we go. <laughs> one ounce of vanilla vodka. Half an ounce of rum. And then lastly, one ounce of Irish cream liqueur. All right, so we're gonna give this a good shaky, shaky. And we pour. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Mmm. <gasps> that looks amazing. Yes, it does. <laughs> Time to give it a try. Salute. <sighs> oh, this is dangerous. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, but well, there's that little vodka burn. <laughs> Those are fun, right? <gasps> mm. The Bailey's just makes it creamy, but you get the vanilla. You get the Kahlua. <gasps> oh, and it's just so yummy. Oh, and even a little finish of rum. Well, that's nice. But you're going to drink a lot of these and then you're going to pass out. So that's not good. <laughs> so if you try this drink recipe, let us know. <laughs> Thanks. All right, so we just sliced it up. It's time to give it a try. Oh, yeah. 
Bon appétit. Mmh. Mmh. That rich, luscious vanilla and coffee liqueur custard, along with the cocoa meringue, which just tastes like a chocolate mousse. Oh, it's amazing. <laughs> and then you have the lady fingers in the middle with the espresso. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Mmm. Mmm. So creamy. And <laughs> I'm going to say dreamy. Mmm. <laughs> Definitely a denser tiramisu than you may be normally accustomed to. But what a fun variation. I think I'm going to make it like this from now on because it would actually be so much easier. <laughs> so if you try this recipe, let us know. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks!